I'm currently at the nail salon. I've been just procrastinating this for so long since I got back. The nail salon that I go to is like 35 minutes away from like my house. So I think I just didn't want to drive there and I just got lazy to get my nails done, but they need to be done. I did buy press on nails, but press on nails never like last long on me for some reason. It's probably because I just do them wrong. I'm not patient with anything when it comes to beauty, if I'm honest, like if I have to do my nails or give myself like a pedicure, like whatever it is, I am so impatient and I'm just going to rush it. And that's why I don't don't do any beauty service because I literally just want to get it done and even if I do a shitty job but <laughs> anyways that leads us to the nail salon so I think I'm just gonna go for a classic French tip just like a white almond shaped French tip I just feel like it's like a good summer nail to have and I've never had a classic white French tip before I've always gone for like a color yeah I'm really excited to have my nails done again because my nails just make me feel so put together when I have my nails done I feel like I go from like here to here just automatically automatically I don't know how that works and why but I just do and it's a great thing because it makes me feel more confident even though it's literally just my nails nails is like the one thing that I will spend money on to maintain because I will never do my nails myself and keep up with that like I've tried in the past but I just don't have the patience like I said so nails is like the one beauty thing that I will spend my money on and like do for myself and I feel like everybody should have their thing that makes them feel good and it's like it's okay to spend money on that like the best investment is in yourself period um anyways oh my god okay my appointment is literally one minute i always rush oh my god i had a coffee on the way but now i need to go to the bathroom so i think i'm gonna bring it in and still drink it but we should go here is the before let's go so good i'm obsessed with them like look at that they're just like the perfect french tip i don't even care how long i live from this place i will always come here because they're so good and like they know who i am now and they're so sweet so this is like my tried and true place but i love them so much and it feels so good to have nails again like i feel like myself again but i'm just gonna go hang out with one of my best friends lexi because i have not seen her since i got back i have been in hermit mode and i feel like my mental health to be healthy like i just need to hang out with friends more often because when i was away on vacation for those three months traveling i I really didn't hang out with any friends like while we were gone I was just with Joel and I really miss my friends and hanging out with them so I want to make a point this summer especially to plan as many things and just like do a lot of fun things with friends I feel like sometimes I'm so on my grind and my life gets really busy that I forget that like I need to hang out with my friends and see them and have these women in my life and I feel like I have a nice like couple few friends right now that like just like motivate me to be better and i'm really happy but anyways i'm so excited to see her and just have like a chill nice walking to catch up because we haven't seen each other in so long so yeah i just made myself such a cute setup here to work outside outside is the vibe and it's so nice Good morning you guys so I just came to the grocery store because I really want to get some apples because I want to make some juice because we are in our healthy girl summer era I've just been trying to make juices more often because it's such like a healthy way to start your day and I just never feel better 
then when I drink a nice fresh pressed juice in the morning it's such a good feeling it just starts the day on a good note and it just makes me feel so healthy and good especially in the summer it's just like so refreshing and amazing so I just need apples because my dad has some kale in his garden some spinach so my dad's got all the greens we got carrots at home and I just need some apples so I was gonna pick up a bag and then I'm gonna head over to shoppers because I just need to get some random stuff like I need to get some shavers I need to get some floss but you guys I have such exciting news so me and Joel actually found a place we just signed the lease and we are moving in so soon in about like two weeks so you guys are going to be getting an empty apartment tour soon and the moving vlogs are starting again so i hope you're excited i'm so excited to start decorating and getting furniture in for our new place it's going to be like a whole new vibe it's going to be a whole new chapter and this place is like definitely a different vibe than our last one you guys will see but i'm so excited and i just can't wait for this new chapter and i will still fill you guys in on everything in that video when i do the moving vlog but now yeah, we're actually gonna go look at a couch today stay tuned for that it's gonna be so exciting but yeah anyways let's go in let's get some apples so anyways let's go i love coming to like the grocery store at early hours because so much less busy too look at this eczema on my neck I don't know what is happening. I've never gotten it on my neck here before. Like this is so random. I guess there's like a like a line here, so it makes sense that it's like in the crease. But like what in the world? It's so itchy. I just want to go at it. Sometimes eczema just pops up in the most random places. And I'm like, where did you come from? I've never gotten it down here before. If you guys didn't already know, I like refuse to use topical steroid creams like eczema creams that the doctors prescribe because they have like really bad side effects that my mom unfortunately had to endure. And so I don't want to use them and I don't want to get my body addicted to the steroid creams that they give you. So let me know if you guys have any natural eczema recommendations, remedies down below in the comments. I've tried castor oil um, and a couple other things and I do have this cream that I like but let me know if you guys have anything to suggest too and we can help each other out in the comments if we all struggle with eczema because my eczema flares like in the spring and summer because it's allergy season. In the winter it's usually like better. I don't get allergies, I get eczema which is pretty shitty but let me know if you guys have any natural remedies because that would help everybody out yeah eczema sucks and there's no like real cure for it like just creams but like that's not helping the root of the problem and that's the thing lately where i have been like really trying to be in tune with my body and like not putting a band-aid on things to fix them but really just thinking about okay what is the root of the cause here and how can i fix that internally rather than just putting on this cream that's gonna help it um disappear from the outside but like on the inside it's still happening like you still need to reapply that cream all the time so it's not really fixing it you know okay let's actually go <laughs> I kind of got something exciting at Shoppers. So, first off, here's a little haul. So, I got these flossing non negotiables. Like, I only floss if I can floss with these. I know they're bad for the environment. And this is just my one, uh, what's it called? Um, you know what I mean? It's my one vice. I use reusable bags all the time. I'm good with all that kind of stuff, but I'm sorry. These flossers are just so good and I wish they made this plastic recyclable. Let me know if you have an alternative, but these are just amazing and they really do help me floss. Cause when I was younger, I would lie to the dentist and I'd be like, yes, I floss when I really never did, but now I actually floss, so. Anyways, for the exciting part, I got this Billy razor. I've been seeing this everywhere like on social media and I was gonna buy my normal pack of disposable razors, but I was like kind of getting hot in here actually. Just let me, one minute. But anyway, so yeah, I was gonna buy my normal pack of my disposable razors, but then I saw this one and I'm like, okay, why don't I just buy this? Cause it's so much better for the environment in terms of like, you don't need to keep buying the bodies of the razor. So after you get this, all you do is you just have to buy the refills of the shavers once they get dull, like the head. And this also comes with a little magnet that you put in your shower, a holder, that you can just put the razor on the wall of your shower, which is so nice. Cause I hate when my razors get disgusting in the shower cause I have to leave them like on the shelf and then they get all like weird. I will let you guys know how I like this, but but I've been looking for a good shaver, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go home now and we're going to make the juice and I'm so excited. 
here is the juice lineup so i just have carrots and then apples i might add more carrots we'll see how it goes but carrots apples these are the ones that i bought this morning spinach cucumber and then a bunch of kale from my dad's garden just came outside on my deck it is so nice and beautiful the birds are chirping and I love this time of morning when I just kind of sit read and journal I try to come outside in the morning every single day in the summer to get that fresh air and it's just like the perfect temperature outside because it's not where the day it's gotten like too hot but anyway so I just finished my green juice I haven't actually taken a sip of it yet so how about let's try it together Oh wow, that's really good. That is so sweet. I'm out of 10. So I got my green juice and then I also have a five minute journal, which I'm going to do right now. And then I'm also just going to read some of my Ask and It Is Given book while I sit here and drink my morning little juice. Mm. Okay, I just finished doing my journal and reading and I finished my juice. I feel so relaxed now. But I just realized when I was writing the date on my journal that it is like already more than halfway into the year. Like, what even? Are you kidding me? Like, where is the time going? I don't understand. Is it just me or is the year like flying by for you guys too? Please let me know down below because this is so weird. Like, I don't even know. You know when people always say like, oh, I want to be this. Like, there's like a person that you want to become, like the healthiest version of yourself and whatever it is. But you can start today. Like, a lot of people think that where they want to be and the person that they want to become is so out of their reach and so unattainable but the reality is is that you just have to start making baby steps to get there and you will if you want to be a basketball player just spend an hour every day practicing basketball it's kind of like that you just have to build these little habits for yourself and then that'll eventually build up and build up and then soon enough you will be the person that you want to become and i feel like we all have that version of ourselves that we are striving to be and sometimes we just don't think that we can get there but you can get there like if you want to be a wellness girl that journals that has a green smoothie every morning that works out like if you want to be that type of girl but you're stuck on the other side where like you just feel really lazy to do things you feel like you don't have any time take like 10 minutes out of your day every single day to start something like that can be journaling that could be making a smoothie that could be doing a quick workout those things will start to like build up on top of each other so once you create the habit for one thing you're going to want to create the habit for multiple things and they'll just start stacking up and then eventually you'll be there and so that's something that i've learned it's like a lot of people just are talk no action where they'll say like their whole lives like oh i would have loved to do this i would have loved to do that i would have loved to be this way but you can be that way you can still do that you just have to take the steps like baby steps there every day even if that's just dedicating 10 minutes a day to something as long as you put in the effort for that and you make that promise to yourself and you stick with it then you're gonna get there anyways yeah i was just like looking at the year and realizing we're already seven months in so i want to start implementing like more habits and stuff in my daily um life that make me feel good and that make me build to the person that i want to be yeah i feel like a lot of times in life like it's it's so life is so ebb and flow and like i told you guys recently like i've been having kind of like a downward spiral spiral where i was just feeling so out of place so out of whack like out of my routine when i got back and I'm at my parents house so it's like even weirder because like i feel like i just can't have a routine here but i am starting to feel a lot better because i've started to implement these things back into my life and i'm becoming back to the person that i want to be and so it's making me feel a lot better and there's a million excuses that you can make like there's always excuses like when i want to wake up really i have a million excuses in my head of why i shouldn't do it but it's combating those excuses pushing them to the back of your head getting them out of your head and actually doing the things that you want to do truly but yeah oh it's just so freaking nice i'm gonna go inside shower and get ready for the day okay i just showered and now i'm going to 
get myself ready for the day quickly and then I have plans today. So we're gonna go out later, hang out with one of my friends. But yeah, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Just did a quick little makeup look. If you guys wanna see like this in depth, go to my video that I posted right before this and I show you guys my everyday natural summer glowy makeup. So if you wanna see what I did in depth, um, check that out. But anyway, so I'm just gonna go dry my hair, um, use the Dyson and then head out. I might give you guys a clothing haul though before, so we'll see. Recently, I have done a little bit of online shopping and I wanted to give you guys a very quick haul because it's mostly summer stuff. So I just want to show you. I got like a very basic haul. Um, I'm just like an online shopping addict. I need to stop myself. But when I got back from traveling, since I couldn't really online shop there, I just went ham a little bit and I still have packages coming in the mail. But anyways, I'm going to show you what I got so far. So I actually wore some of this stuff already in the video. Oh my god. That is disgusting. My dog just got this hat dirty because he was chomping on it before. But anyways, I got this hat um, from Ritzia and then this one as well. Ritzia was having a little bit of a sale, so I couldn't resist. And I love hats and I get bored of my hats really easily. So I always like getting new ones. So I got these two. And then I got this Aritzia sports bra, which I was wearing in the video. I just think that you can't go wrong with a black sports bra, and I tend to grab black sports bras the most. So this is now my second one from Aritzia. It's like the butter material, and I just feel like I'm going to wear it all the time. And it's just like one of those staple pieces that like you know you're going to get your use out of. And then I got this baby tee, just because you can't really go wrong with baby tees. And I feel like this is just such a cute summer moment with like shorts or whatever, just to throw on for a lazy day or just around the house. So I got this one and then I also got it the same thing in black. And yeah, I just saw little t-shirts like this that are super comfy. And then I got this gray tank top, which I was also already wearing, but just a plain basic tank. And I also have more of just like basic tank tops from Laurizia coming in the mail. So I'll show you guys when I get them, but love a good basic tank top moment. Just cause I was really getting bored of my tank tops in my summer wardrobe and I just feel like I needed to spice it up a bit because I haven't bought new tank tops in like so long and I've just been re-wearing the same ones every summer and so I'm like you know what I deserve to buy myself a little haul of summer clothes so do you we deserve to treat ourselves it's okay like we're always told not to spend our money on like stupid things like clothes and stuff but it's like do what makes you happy you're allowed to spend your money on what you want like you earned it and I hate when people like judge each other for how they spend their money because it's like did they earn that money no so they can't judge somebody for spending it on what they want got this cute just plain basic gray Aritzia tank top for sweatpants, sweat shorts, whatever, just really cute and comfy. And then last thing I got from Aritzia is this butter sports bra. I love this style and I wear my black one all the time. So I thought I'd switch it up and get like, this is like a light gray color. And then lastly, I ordered a bit from White Box because they were having like a 60% or 50% sale. So I had to take advantage. Got this really cute corset top. It's like this with straps. It's just untied right now. I mean unzipped but it's so cute for a summer night going out i just love it so much and then i also got this pink cute little dainty top as well for going out it has two little slits in the side and it's such a cute summer vibe and then from white fox as well i got these pair of jeans they're just like loose leg light wash and i don't really have a nice pair of like baggy jeans i realized like i don't really like any of my jeans right now and jeans are a vibe in the summer wearing them with like a tank top going out for dinner like i love jeans so i got them wide leg and they're just like loose which i love it's like a really big fit um so i got these from white fox and then i just got two like i got a crew neck and a hoodie so this is the first one and then that's the back and i just love the contrast of these colors and then i just got this crew neck and it says love club it's so cute i just really like the back of this one um and it's just like plain gray but yeah so cute and i also want to go thrifting soon because i haven't been in so long and i'm just craving like a good thrift yeah because i'm just really bored of my summer clothes i also want to get new shorts but yeah so i'm gonna get ready and go out now 